when you've drawn your seating chart and labelled and categorised all your seats, you'll have loads of green ticks in the right hand navigator. You can also use the preview button to check that all of your seats are labelled correctly and match what's going to appear in your venue. When you're happy with your seating chart, you're ready to start assigning tickets to your seats. Exit the editor and head over to your events. You can either add it to an existing event or create a new event. Either way, we'll need to head to the Edit Event and Tickets form and head to the Create Ticket Types section. Use the button that says Use Seating Chart and select the chart you just created from the drop down. You can prevent people from leaving single empty seats by ticking the checkbox, but that's optional. Now you'll see a new button called Add Seated Ticket Type. Click on this to start linking prices or tickets to your seats. Name your tickets and add the price as normal. For the quantity, match the number of available seats in your venue, or if you're not quite sure, put a large number as you're only going to be able to sell as many seats as are on your chart. Then tick the section of the seating chart that you want to assign that price to. Continue to do this for all of the seats and the different prices that you have for your event. When you've created all the tickets you need for your event, click save. Preview your event to double check that the right seats are the right price. In this example, I've only added a different price for a different section of my seating chart, but you can totally add multiple prices to multiple seats. If you want to do this, head back to your Edit and Event and Tickets page and just add another ticket and assign it to the same seats that you already assigned another price to. For example, I'm going to add a student discount to my balcony and loge seats. I'm also going to add a student discount to my orchestra seats. As you can see, now when I go to my seating chart and try and buy a ticket, I'll see multiple pricing options. The regular price and the student discount that I just created. You can also add non-seated tickets to an event that uses a seating chart. Do this by adding a regular ticket type rather than a seated ticket type. You'll see that the seated tickets have a little seat icon and the regular tickets have a little ticket icon which is how you can tell them apart. Now when I go to my seating chart I can see my seating chart with prices attached and if I scroll down I can see tickets that are unassigned. Your ticket buyers will be able to add as many combinations of seats as they like to their baskets.